I'm humbled and deeply delighted today. I am particularly sober as I consider the humble origin of this project. And I dream to deliver world-class services to my community. I can only describe this as a journey from, from my humble roots in this community. The question many times is, why just? Why not Abuja first or elsewhere? I have a short answer for them. I do as I'm led. Imagine a young man in the person of Stanley Uzochiku setting up something through the transformational agenda that will provide economy and employment to nearly one million people. And by the time he replicates this in 36 states, the promise of employment to youths and economic empowerment as made by Mr. President would have been fulfilled. What you are seeing here today was just a discussion that took place not more than two years ago when I spoke to Stanley and said, hey, young man, you know, I see something in you. Because Charity Group have decided to partner with uh, Stanley and appointed him our Abro dealer to distribute Abro products in this region as a representative of all Autokia products. I most commend the initiative of Stanley Group, which I have been informed has a state-of-the-art facility developed primarily to support large reserve of petroleum products. And what we want to do is to partner with Standard Oil in developing the skills of the Plateau people. But first, let me congratulate my brother, Mr. Stanley, who has equally proven to young people and defined to the minds of young people that you can start small, but you must stick big. I want to say that I've seen excellence in what you have put up here and I want to pray that you would sus sustain that spirit excellence. This investment, apart from empowering the youth, gives us very essential commodities that we use in our homes and in our vehicles. Stanley, we commend you. We are here because of the generation and creation of value by a young man by name Stanley Uzochuku here to impact and create value in this territory and ultimately across the nation. Life is measured not by possession but by contribution. That is what we see here today. I commend Stanley all for the strategy it has put in place to deliver kerosene to communities and districts in remote areas away from the capital cities. I also commend its 
investment in tanks and trucks to deliver kerosene through the brilliant Kero on Demand initiative. Stanley, well done. Distinguished guests, I want to also thank the owner of this filling station, Mr. Stanley Oso Toku, for the wonderful assistance he has been rendering to the less privileged our, in our society, particularly the widows. I'm standing here, I'm a widow. We that we are already into the business, we know all it means to start a business. And uh, Ogan Stanley has provided us with tanks. If you don't have one, and maybe you have interest to start a business, tank, well, already tank has been given to us. My name is Stanley Uzochiku, I'm the chairman of Stana Oil. Um, Stana Oil is, um, is, an, is a downstream um, oil company that um, um, we have petrol stations and um, we run um, a shuttle um, distribution, both retail and bulk and uh, marine services. Stana Oil, we're a young green company. Um, we're out to meet all the needs of the people to be a leading marketing and distributing company not just here in Jos but around the world. We started up with the supply of diesel, kerosene and lower scale. When we started out we looked at the challenges people were having in uh, procuring the uh, products. Uh, people who have to carry drums and um, um, go out to look for products and thereby spoiling their shocks and all that. So we, 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 we imported lots of shuttle trucks with um, automated uh, calibrated meters, like more like a mobile filling station, uh, more like a mobile filling station that uh, goes round um, to dispense and these trucks have the capacity. After dispensing, it prints out the receipt uh, to to help you know the amount of uh, product that was actually dispensed uh, into your system. We have tanks that will be distributed to people. We have distributors around the 17 local governments of Plata State. When we started the scheme, we looked around um, the only uh, station uh, they, they had just one station for just Plateau State as a whole that brings in um, DPK maybe once in uh, two or three months. And you have people travel uh, most times two hours from Shandam, Pangshin, three hours to come and queue. The most painful thing is that most times when they queue for one, two days, they don't even get to get the product at all. And um, they, 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 they have to even go back without getting this product. So it's, uh, we looked at that, it was, a, it was very horrible. We had to um, get into the Kero Direct scheme where we take this product to the doorsteps of uh, these people, the local community. And aside that, what we had in mind basically was the uh, empowerment uh, part of it because we, we constructed um, uh, lots of tanks, distribution tanks, and uh, had distributors mostly we concentrated in the youths and women. 
and we give them constructed tanks and we give them, give these tanks out um, free to them to uh, for them to earn a living first we want to appreciate uh, Stanley and his team for coming up with this uh, business outfit in Plateau State. Uh, this, of course, is bringing uh, this commodity very close to the people because the vendors are from within the community. It means that they don't have to travel long distances or go and queue up for so many hours because time is precious. I believe that as they provide the kerosene within communities, that they would also be freeing time uh, for the people, making more time available uh, for the people to commit to other activities that of course would improve on their livelihoods and their well-being. Panel Oil Chief Executive is a young man who is committed to God and is practically practicalizing the teachings and the instructions he has received by being under the instruction of God's word in the ministry where he found himself. So um, the, the, the need for the instruction is to make people know in case they are not aware the, the light behind the kind of impact is. What was launched in just was not the filling station, not just the filling station, um, but the Cairo Direct scheme, the impact on the community, the impact on the people. and. Um, like I said uh, uh, the last time, Mr. President is very, very passionate about job creation. Like the scheme in JOS already is employing over 1,200 people and uh, lots of youth, uh, people that, uh, not just them personally, they are going to employ people, they are going to sit back and, um, um, and benefit from this uh, scheme. So it's the empowerment scheme basically that uh, uh, government has made um, um, uh, uh, possible that uh, people are now being em empowered and this product, this scarce commodity now uh, is now closer to the people. Initially when I saw this building uh, coming up I thought it was a bank. I didn't know that uh, it, it had anything to do with a filling station or with other services that would be uh, provided. But when I met Stanley in Abuja, uh, he started talking to me about the uh, business and he was very passionate about, I can see his passion about the business, the fact that he's also surrendered it completely to God because all of the trucks that are being used um, have the inscription of uh, one name or the other of the Almighty God. And it's my belief that the business will go places. Mr. Stanley Uzochuku, is a visionary and um, not just a visionary but he's a man with a lot of passion now when you combine vision and passion um, what you have is results uh, Mr. Stanley was very very clear about his brief when he called us to give him a design um, for Stanley Oil in Joss and uh, something that will be a model that will be used to influence the other designs across the states in Nigeria. When you look at Stanley you see it's a young man that have a different kind of mindset who believes in himself, who believes he can wither the storm. He's a young man but with an old man's heart, brain. He's an angel, if I can use the word, you know. I hardly come across angels but he's one. Well, uh, what we did in Justice was a flag off. We are hitting the 36 states. Um, we are we there is there is we are hitting Makodi very shortly, and um, um, also Ibadan very shortly. We are also hitting Anambra State. We are spreading out. It's not a thing that is confined uh, to just. We we are spreading out. Well, I would like to appreciate uh, my wife and my and my kids for the support all these years. My wife has um, stood by me, supporting the vision and uh, running. She's actually the MD of the company. Special appreciation to her, and also special appreciation to the president, President Goodluck Abele Jonathan, and also the governor of Plateau State that has um, created an enabling environment for us to make these uh, investments. 